Hello. Okay. Uh, this will be a detail for uh, to finding the argument of Z. Alright, argument of Z. For example, if I have a complex number, okay, look at this. Uh, this is the real part of the complex number, and this will be the imaginary part of the complex number. So let's say your complex number is 4 in this quadrant, the first quadrant, which the value of x and y is positive, right? It's positive. So then you know that uh okay, I, I this is of course is your modulus, right? The length, so the modulus. Then but how to find the argument? So the argument refer from the angles, right? As you know that the argument can take value between negative 5 and up to pi, right? Up to pi. So if in this quadrant, so I have to go in the anti-clockwise, right? Anti-clockwise. Because it's from 0 up to pi, right? 0 up to pi. So I can take, this is my argument, right? <coughs> Always move from this axis, this positive axis, to the line, right? The line that joining the coordinates of the complex number. So now, then this will be your argument for this case. Right, for this case. So very simple. If you see that, this will be your x. Uh, this will be your y. Right? So x, this will be your y. So how to find this? In? You can using tangent. Right? Because this is your x and this is your y. Right? So if you draw the triangle, if you draw the triangle, this will be the x, this will be, and this is your y, this will be your x. So it's opposite adjacent. So, which that you can find the argument of z here, the arguments of z here, which is theta, is equal to the uptangent, the uptangent of y divided by x, y divided by x. As you know that tangent theta is actually y over x, y over x. So, you want to find theta, it will be <coughs> uptangent of y over x. Then this is how you find the argument for the first quadrant. Very simple. Right? For first quadrant, it's very simple. So, let's look at how if the argument... Okay. What is the argument? If the coordinates of the complex number is 4 on the second quadrant. Alright. Uh, I will teach you see one by one before you memorize the formula. So this is a real part of Z, and this is an imaginary part of Z. Okay, now, if the complex number is located in the second quadrant, alright, second quadrant, so I have to draw from this coordinate to the origin, alright. So as you know that theta is between negative pi and pi, so you cannot move in this clockwise direction, because it's already over negative pi, right. Uh, so you have to move in this way. Uh, you have to understand this range. So you have to move. So the argument now is actually more than 90, right? It's more than 90. <coughs> so to find this type of, of, of angle, you need the <coughs> concept from trigonometry as you learn during your uh, form 1 to form 3. So now, okay. For example, now this is your x, this is your y. Right? This is your x, this is your y. So you know that these two value, these two value, one of them must be negative, right? Because this is the negative x axis. Right? At here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So the x must be negative, but the y is still positive, right? Uh, so how to find this angle? So you have to need the uh, you need the help of the acute angle here. Usually we will denote by alpha. Okay? We will denote by alpha. So very simple. We should find alpha before we find the theta. If the coordinates of the complex number is fall on the second quadrant. So how to find alpha? Very easy. Okay, to find alpha, we always take the positive value. Okay, or if you're lazy to think, you just put modulus, right? Modulus of the value. So for example, y over x, right? Y over x. In my mind, I know that in second quadrant, the value of x must be negative, right? The value of x must be negative. So, this will be positive. So, you divide, you will get a negative number, right? Yes, no? 
So that's why we put a modulus to make sure that we can find the acute angle, right? So here will be y over x, okay? y over x. So after you get your alpha, your acute angle here, for sure it's an acute angle because this is a positive value, right? So now, <coughs> how to find theta? The argument, uh, argument of z, argument of z, which is short form, argument of z, which is equals to, I take the pi, uh, pi, pi is in radian, okay? Uh, we are supposed to write your argument in radian. So, to find theta, I will take pi, the argument, or we said theta is equals to pi. Total is pi, right? So, I take the 180 degree minus away alpha. The alpha minus away alpha, which gives me uh, pi minus with arc tangent of modulus of y over x. Uh, this becomes the formula for argument for the second quadrant, which is uh, for second quadrant, uh, for second quadrant. So for second quadrant, the formula for argument, all right, argument will be, you take 180 in terms of radian is pi minus with the arc tangent of the modulus of the y over x. Just take the value y divided by x. Then you will get the argument, right? You will get the argument. Of course, the modulus will be still the same. The modulus you will still the same. <coughs> you will take the value of x you square plus b, the y value you square, then you put a square root. Then you have already got the modulus for this complex number and the argument for this complex number. Alright. So in the next, we will talk about the third, uh, the third and the fourth quadrant.